Trade tariffs are not great long-term trade policy. I think everybody would agree with that. We stand at the conference board in the business community for open, fair, and free trade. But I think that most CEOs would agree that these tariffs are targeted, they're justified, because they're intended to get China to lower their tariffs, number one. Number two, to provide IP protections. And number three, to follow WTO rules. So they're supportive of these in the short term. And they're willing to take the short term pain as long as it has the long term fixes. The question is, what's going to happen to the consumer? If you ask consumers today what they expect, the consumer confidence index from the conference board is at 18-year highs. It hasn't impacted yet. And even the most pessimistic forecasters say that it's only going to impact at maximum you know, a couple tenths of a percent. But that doesn't mean that every category is going to be clean. You are going to have some, some uh, categories where there aren't substitutes. Uh, I think of application auto parts, for example, where China is a sole source supplier where they have no choice and they will, there will be select price increases in some categories. But overall, when it gets to the uh, level of the economy, it should be relatively small. Steve, name for us uh, two or three of the conference board members uh, that, that do support the tariffs. I can't name it specifics, but, I, but the, our, our polls of our CEOs have the majority of the CEOs saying short term, if this is a tactic, it's the right thing to do if it, if it achieves the long-term goal of getting China to play well. But look, as a retailer, what happens when your prices go, when your costs go up is you have to look at the marketplace. You've got Amazon, you have Walmart, you have Target, you have others who will hold the prices down. And so what you try to do is you try to push the prices back up the supply chain to your manufacturers and suppliers because there are substitutes for these goods in most categories and you don't want to lose market share. So the, the, the net effect to the consumer broadly in the economy should be relatively small, but I think Matt's mm. going to tell you that, that there are yeah, categories Matt, that, that will get hit. That's right. Take the other side. Yeah, you know, for us, we have been paying duties since 1930. We paid $3 billion in duties last year. And when you look at the consumer price index for footwear, as it relates to the price of that good crossing the border, there's an unmistakable correlation that the two are interrelated. As prices go up, consumers will be hit. In fact, the average import price on all consumer goods was 1.4% in 2017. It was 1.9% last year, and year-to-date it's 2.5%. And so our members are telling us, you know, if it's 10%, if it's a 10% duty on top of what we already pay, maybe some of that will reverberate back up the supply chain. If it's 25%, all bets are off and consumers will be hit dramatically. Matt, uh, if uh, all the tariffs did remain in place ultimately forever, would your members uh, be able to ship production somewhere such that long term, even if it was uh, quite a drawn out uh, transition period, long term things would go back to normal? I think ultimately there will be continued shift. In fact, one of my members said the threat of tariffs has the same impact as actually implementing tariffs. And so our members are looking to move. In fact, they were looking to move well before this action took place. Where you find difficulty is in the mass retail marketplace, in the shoes that working American families buy. These are shoes that at the border are eight, nine, ten dollars and they already have a 48% duty or 67.5% duty. You put a 25% duty on top of that, that shoe is just not gonna be made. It won't be worth moving anywhere and it won't be worth making in China and shipping to the United States. And you know, two million families purchased those types of shoes last year, specifically to a to a 67.5% duty rate. So for us, we have seen these duties for a long, such a long time that anytime anyone says something short term, uh, we can't take that seriously because in mm. 1930, that was when our duties went to effect and it's been 90 years.